Are you set, Ken? Uh, you know, then are you uh, be much a good cook? Oh. I know they treat me like this now. Oh, God, God. 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 Go inside. To where? If you marry me now. Get up and for a better job. Let's go. Uh, okay. You guys should have a nice time. yesterday to happen again but that uh, I, I say you won't allow it to happen again what were you thinking for God's sake coming from NYC all alone and by road anything could have happened to you when I have already instructed Zara to make arrangement for your flight to get back to Lagos and you decided to come all the way alone listen don't ever allow that to happen again you hear me do you hear me? Okay, Dad. Good. Dad, can I, um, can, can I go see a friend? Be sure to be back before 4 p.m. Okay, okay, sir, I will. Thank you. Ah, mm. I'm sure you hooked up with so many in camp. Uh, <laughs> God. 
Boyo Petio, I don't mean like you. The great grandson of King Solomon himself. Abba! Oh boy. Man. But seriously, yeah. do you know I couldn't stick with one babe in the end? Why? Don't tell me you couldn't get anybody to do it. No, not be that one. <laughs> if not that one, I was blessed bountifully. <laughs> so what happened? Well, unfortunately, I don't have any close ties with any of the girls I met in camp. Well, that's not a problem. I mean, for the great grandson of King Solomon, you shouldn't be worried about uh, <laughs> securing any ties. Can, with can you rest? <laughs> rest. <laughs> oh, oh, man. I can't wait to get away from my dad. The old man is suffocating me. Okay? Because, you see, this your urge and, 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 and desire to walk away from your father, you might just be walking away from your success. A lot of people will give an arm and a leg to be in your position, trust me. You, you don't understand how they talk. The man, they oppress me. Do you know that as old as I am, mm. The man still gives me time when I'll return home. Is it like? So you're on the coffee? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I better drink up before somebody call Carrie come over here. <laughs> are you enjoying freedom? You are enjoying freedom. I'm happy about it. <laughs> I bet you are. <laughs> yeah, I am serious here. Yeah. If you can accommodate me, I'll, I'll really appreciate it. Of course, that's no problem. So long as your father approves of it, because I don't want any of your pops's problem. I understand. I'll, I'll find a way to talk to him, man. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, that man. If you leave with that man. Hey, boss man. Come on. What are those ones? Okay, just shut up, you ah. Those are the bad boys in this area. Okay, but we're in good terms with them for now. Ah, why do you so lousy? They make no up and down. Stay away from them. If they're not on your side, leave them. Yeah. I don't leave them. Right? It's because yeah. Yeah. Hey, how far you know? No idea. How far now? You know how Pan Showboy is over? You already lost. Calm down. Nothing there for now, now. Calm down. Not saying you know they look that girl like that. My friend, will you get your hand off me? But they're mad. Where are you? You made off your life like you. You know you're the follow talk. Boy, leave her, leave her, leave her. Wait, why you? Hey, you hey, shut up and apologize. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm like I know see you near that girl. Maybe I'll see you at the function. That yeah, so it's not at all waste you like fly. But you come around, T-boy, not, T-boy. not the guy, the lost T-boy, 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 calm down now. What's your problem? What's your problem? Mela, you need to behave yourself around these dudes. These guys are very violent. I'm not afraid of them. What is wrong with you? You didn't hear which they follow you talk so. Stay away from them. It's okay, I don't hear. Ah. I said I don't hear now, guy. I'm sorry if I caused you any trouble. Ah, you know what far now. You know someone will see better things. We got we got to appreciate him now. You know the levels, you know the vibes. Now Kwan Yon Yon go kill you. You see? <laughs> I beg. Um who be that girl? That's Tracy. Stay away from her. Okay, she is a no-go area, just like you heard. Do not go close to her. She's a tough nut to crack. Okay. Yeah, okay now. You said stay away from her. Okay, I've heard you. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Guy, I had fun. Thank you so much, man. I really had a great time. Don't be careful. Things have changed. I don't yeah. Okay. I don't yeah. Take it easy. Yeah, man. Take it easy. Take it easy. I don't yeah. Take it easy. I don't yeah. No go dark money on your side though. I find they look you now. Your house road be this so. Now the other side be this.
Good evening, Dad. I'm sorry, sir. Sorry is no explanation. Your man, is that how you're going to become successful in life? Answer me. No. Let this be the very last time you will repeat this. Do you understand me? This is my house. There are rules, and those rules must be followed. Do I make myself clear to you? Yes, sir. Good. Go and make your life useful. Jamila. Jamila. I only want you to succeed in life. Nothing more. All right? I understand, but it's just that sometimes you can be... I overdo my responsibilities as a father to make sure you succeed in life? Yes. Listen to me and listen very attentively. On no account, I repeat, on no account must you be a failure under my watch. And that's the very reason why I am offering you a job in my company. A job? I'm already looking for, I'm, I'm searching for a job elsewhere. I'm, I'm sure that I, I'll get it. Chimela. Chimela, you are resuming work in my office tomorrow morning. And there's this interesting staff of mine, a very hard-working young lady I wish to introduce you to. Okay, sir. Good. Tomorrow then. Chemela! Chemela! Where is this boy? Look at the time. Chemela, why are you not dressed? Good morning, Dad. Good morning, what's the problem? I, I couldn't sleep at all. I had a very serious headache all through the night. Oh my God. Uh, please, uh. Allow me to just stay back home for today and get some rest. I promise to follow you to work by tomorrow. Oh, your temperature is high. Have you taken any medicine? Yeah. Yes, I have. I just need some time to rest. Um, it's okay. All right. No problem. Just take this. Okay? Make sure you take enough rest. All right? I need to leave now. Right now for time, okay? Okay, sir. All right. Hey, hi, Trissy. Wait, 
Wait, wait, wait. You don't remember me? Oh, wow. <laughs> Tracy. Well, don't tell me you really don't remember me. Mister, because I don't know you from anywhere. Okay? So if you don't mind, I have something important to oh, do. Oh, okay, wait, wait. At least let me explain. Tri Hi. Okay. If I say this your ear, not the receive network, Abby. Not to break the head now. I mean, yeah, what? Well, this is the phone coconut head, so. What did I tell you about that girl? Well, you answer the question now. Let me make the phone talk. I was only trying to find out about something from her. You say what? I started to try to get information from her. See, like I tell you, I no one catch you near that girl again. And what will happen? Hey, T-Boy, you know you're going to talk to me, man! Hey, hey, hey T-Boy, T-Boy, calm down. What's in? Come up around my room, man, man. We get a room, man, I'll tell this guy that you're the man. T-Boy, 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 T-Boy. Why yourself? T-Boy. Why yourself? I don't look you. T-Boy. I don't look you. T-Boy. I don't know why you keep wasting money on these guys. Never will you shut up? Do you have a death wish or something? Oh, look, these guys are dangerous. Stay away from them. And they can't do anything, I beg. I know your problem to always be that you, you lack e earning aid. Your ear is deaf. Chamo, please, let's go and find something to drink, I beg. I've, I've, I'm not even in the mood for this. Hey, but you know saying that they're there, full over. Come on, will you let's go and go to the bar where they this other side? Why do you fear these boys? Too light problem. Hey, Soga, Soga, hey. Yeah, like this. <laughs> mm. Guy, me fear. I will fight those boys anytime, any day. I've been warning you, but you've not been listening. Uh, I beg, save your warnings for another person. Okay. Me. <laughs> See, now not fear to give those boys morale. I will beat those boys. Okay. I've heard you. Continue. Anyway, how far? Have you been able to talk to your dad about your plans of moving the house? I should have known. The man has other plans for me. What plans? He wants me to resume work at his company tomorrow. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yes. Yeah, there's nothing good about it. The man wants to cage up my life. Look, we know your father is a strict man, but come on. I wish I had someone doing all these things for me. Trust me. <laughs> Guy, be careful what you wish for. Trust me, if you were in my shoes, you would have committed suicide a long time ago. It's no fun being my dad's son. Yeah, we know your dad is strict. Okay, but come on. You got everything. The man is not strict. Mm. Strict is an understatement. The man is a dictator. I'm sure he means well for you, bro. Okay, no wala now. Uh, we can swap places. Then you can come back and tell me how nice of a man he is. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna wait. Let me finish my drink first and I'll think about it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand. I don't understand it myself, but hey, what can I say? <laughs> but it's all good. It's all good. I want. Chamon. Is that not Tracy? So, as heavy as I imagined it to be. Thank you very much for helping me out. Anytime. Cool, cool. So, my name is Mela, and you are? 
Tracy. Tracy? Well, Tracy, I, I should apologize for being rude to you the other day. Rude? Were you trying to be rude or you were trying to play smart one on me? <laughs> I was only trying to make an acquaintance with you. Yeah, I'm sorry I started on the wrong foot. It's okay. I was harsh myself, so I'm sorry about that. Yeah, very, very harsh. Very. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, it's, it's fine. You it's, sure you don't want to help no, no, you? No, no, it's, it's fine. It's, I, I got this. Okay. It's, it's not heavy at all. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is my house and yeah, thank you so much. I am really grateful for this. Thank you. Yeah, but um, are you sure you don't want me to help you take the bags inside? It's good. Thank you. I mean, you've done enough. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Um, Tracy? Yeah. Can I have your number? a minor accident on my way back. Don't, don't, let me see, let me see. No, 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 no. Let's go to the hospital. But Dad, I... No, no, no. Let's, let's go to the hospital. Now. Where's my khaki? Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Move, move. Let's go, let's go.
come have a seat. Yeah. <sighs> Thank you. Well, now that I didn't come in here unconscious, I can see that your apartment is as beautiful as you are. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. I wish I can offer you something. Yeah, sure, anything. Anything? I don't have anything. <laughs> Wait, you're telling me that a beautiful, hot lady like you, you don't have anything to offer me? It's okay. <laughs> as long as you offer me your time, your company, I'm happy. I'm fine with that. I'm not really needy. <clears throat> Can I ask you for something? Sure. I want to know about you. Tell me everything about you. I'm listening. Um, okay. Even though this is not an interview, <laughs> I will. I'll tell you everything about me. I was born a comedian. I can make you laugh in, in less than three seconds. If you doubt me. If you doubt me, let's try it. I'm gonna to count to three, unless you, if you want to smile hard. One, two, I can see a smirk coming out. I can see a smirk, that was a smile, that was a smile. That was a smile, you see, I did it, that made you laugh in three seconds. Anyway, that's just, by the way. Um, <clears throat> I, um, <clears throat> I'm just trying to get comfortable. Yeah, you should get comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going to? Well, um, um, I love to travel. Okay. And um, I love to just look at beautiful faces all day, like yours. And yeah, exactly. This this smile is what I live for. Zara. Yes, sir. Meet Chimela, my son. Chimela. This is Zara. Pleasure. Sure, you will be working with her while I'm away abroad for some international engagement and seminars and other things like that. And um, I expect you to work with her to complete some projects with my developers before I'm back. We'll give it our best, sir. Good. I, I trust you, and I know that um, Chimale will learn very fast. Okay. Thank <laughs> you I so much. Yeah. Yes. Okay, then. Amanda. 
Um, um, please, I would like to do a report on the next file for Atlantic Road Digital, okay? Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Meet it by tomorrow morning. Okay. Hey, okay, Yela. Hi. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Um, this is Amanda. Hi. Oh, Mr. Miller. So nice to finally meet you, sir. Amanda is the company's front desk and my personal assistant. Come, I'll show you to your office. So, this will be your office. Right. And take a seat. Thank you. Okay. Let me formally introduce you to Zumarok Realtors. We will render services to property owners and buyers. We help our clients find the best properties at best prices. In the absence of the chairman, your father, you'll be filling the chairman's position. Meantime, I'll always be with you to guide you and help you do the job. Do you have any questions? I'll take this call, please. Okay. <clears throat> Zara, really? Was that really necessary? Not even a handshake? <sighs> Nothing is necessary outside of the work that we're employed to do here. Oh, I've known that for two years before you joined this company, Zara. <laughs> Amanda! You were made my assistant by the chairman. Here she goes again. I didn't come here to boss anyone. I came here to work. Yeah, but the, 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 the but thing is... Look. Let's just be formal. Okay? That's all we need in here. <laughs> formal, you say? Were you being formal with the chairman's son? You know what? It will do you a lot of good mm. if you fit the work that you're employed to do here, Amanda. Do your job. I'll need a file on the PJ company in 30 minutes on my desk. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, it's going pretty well. <laughs> I must say, Mela is not doing badly at all. Yes, I'm in his office now. He's working. Yes, hold on. Hi, Dad. Mm hmm I'm fine. Yeah, um, she's been very helpful. Of course, I'm gradually getting to understand the, the business. Okay, sir. All right, then. Okay, bye. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, yes. I spoke with them already.
it's studios. Yeah, it's a big company project. Come on, how long are you gonna stay mad at me? I'm sorry. I mean, I'm really? I called you so many times and if you just literally refused to pick my calls, why? Because I was busy with work. You were busy with work? That you just couldn't return any of my calls? <sighs> this work is, is demanding, okay? I, why, why won't I return your calls? It's taking all of my time. I mean, I just stop! I am not lying Stop! to But hey, don't try this again. Don't let it happen again, please. Of course, of course, I promise. Mm. I'm sorry. <laughs> right, um, work. But, um, <clears throat> I will make it up to you, okay? Work? Yes, but. Of course, you come first before work. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come here. Mm -hmm. What is wrong with this guy? 10.30 a.m. God. So irresponsible. calling my boss to tell him what's going on here. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Mela, give me my phone. Small player. Give me the phone. Oh, it's not that serious. Okay. Give me the phone. Well, give me the phone. You can try if you take the phone. Uh, if you can reach Mela, the phone. give me the phone. Give me the phone. Um, 
It's okay, I'm not going to come back. No, 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 it's fine, you can stay. <coughs> she got this one. It's okay. Um, what is it? Um, this is the report for the Williams Court you asked for. Yes, thank you. Uh, Amanda. Yes, please. Um, I'm sorry about this. I mean, uh, you don't have to explain anything to me, okay? I just hope you know what you're doing. I wish I knew. I just like him. Oh, okay. Well, just make sure you quit on time before this whole thing blows out of proportion. Okay? I'll be in my office. I have said my own. Remove the hand of the monkey from the soup lest you commit a taboo. Jamal, you don't seem to understand what I'm saying here. If I heard you correctly, you said that she can ruin you where your father is if you attempt to end it forcefully with her. Exactly. In that case, my brother, continue and pray for long life while you're at it. Mela, if I may ask, which of these ladies do you truly love? Tracy. Tracy, you're sure about that? Yes, I'm sure. Okay. We'll see how it goes. Wait, are you trying to say that I'm not capable of loving any woman or what? No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm just trying to say is, um, I think we should finish the race before Counting the miles, don't you think? I'll prove you wrong. <laughs> okay, you I'll see. wait. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Are you okay, Mila? What is it? It's my dad. He's, he's suffocating me. How? He won't let me breathe. He, he won't let me do anything on my own. I'm afraid when the time comes for me to marry, he'll, he'll probably choose a wife for me. Like, I am tired of living under the man's shadow. So, what do you want to do now? I want to run away with you. I'm serious. Okay, I, I, I want us to run away from here. With you, of course. I, I, I want to. <laughs> I, I definitely want to. But I just... But what? But there's no way we can live alone in this world without our family around us, Mila. Come on. I do like you so much. But this... Nah, we have to slow things down. We do. We just have to slow things down and just do things the right way. You know what? What? Tracy. I love you. I love you so much from the bottom of my heart. And nothing in this world matters to me except you. Don't you love me? Me? Of course I do love you, but Mila, come on. We just met not too long ago. This is just too quick. It's, it's, it's not about how long. It's about how well. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello, 
Yeah, good morning. Why have you all decided to come to work late today? Uh, I'm sorry, but I went to the bank to make deposits for the company, remember? I wonder what excuse you will give me when it finally shows up. He's not here. No, fortunately he's not. Have you tried calling him? He's not answering my calls. Hello, Wait, ladies. Did... So, I'm sorry I'm late. Um, Hi, how are you? Men... <laughs> now that's the real boss. <clears throat> I'm sorry for coming late. You'll have to explain that to your dad, because I'm about to call him. Come on, there's no need to do that. I just apologized. Mela, what is wrong with you? Huh? How long will you keep apologizing for coming late to work? I'm sick of it. You keep doing this over and over again. I'm tired. <sighs> we even yet to complete the job your dad asked us to. I'm sorry, okay? I'm, I'm really sorry for coming late. Please forgive me. Just don't do this again. I promise. <clears throat> okay, so um, we're working late, okay? We have a lot of work to do. We have to finish this project. All right. Okay, let's get to work then. Okay, okay, let's let's get to work, okay? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So what do I owe this surprise visit? To everything. Mm. Mm. Well, where do we start? Why don't we start with you giving me two million naira? <laughs> what? I want you to give me two million naira. <laughs> is, is this a joke? I mean, are you kidding? Do I look like I'm kidding? And why would I give you two million naira, assuming that I have it? Good question. I want you to give me two million naira to keep me from spilling all that I know about you. And I know a lot. <laughs> and what do you know that is worth two million naira? Interesting. Well, I know that you're dating two sisters. Zara and Tracy. <laughs> oh my God, how do you even do it? Like, how do you date two sisters at the same time? You're a tiger. I know it's one of your fantasies, right? 
I know, playboy. Now, how do you think they're gonna feel when they both get to find out about it? Any ideas? I'll tell you what will happen. What will happen is that Tracy, oh Tracy is such a beautiful soul, so loving. She'll cry and um, do a little harm. But Zara, <laughs> you've seen Zara angry, right? Zara will bring down the house, like she'll literally bring hell upon you. And then tell your father how unserious you are with the company. And you don't want that, trust me. Because you're being dipshit. But don't worry, I will help you manage the sticky situation so it doesn't get out of hand. Alright? And that's why I need two million naira from you on or before tomorrow. Amanda, how do you want me to get you two million naira? By when? By tomorrow? Oh, before tomorrow evening. How am I supposed to come up with such amount? Uh, mela, Mela, Mela. You know what? If I were you, I'd ask Zara to help me out with the money. I mean, she's worth so much more than that. And with the way she loves you, I'm sure she will fall for any lie you tell her just to get the money from her. All right? Think about it. But Amanda, why are you doing this to me? I almost thought we are friends. Friends? <laughs> you, you thought we were friends? You thought we were friends? <laughs> You're not just a playboy, you're a comedian too. <laughs> Remember, tomorrow evening, call me. Amanda, come on. Amanda. Okay. Okay, so you see that, right? Um, it's the same thing, it's basically the same thing. There's, there's no... Mila, what is it? Nothing. <clears throat> Nothing and you keep staring at me like you want to say something. What is it? Okay, um... I wanted to ask you for a little favor. A little favor? Mm -hmm. Okay.
We're doing well, Dad. In fact, Zara's been so helpful for taking me through. You're coming back? No, 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 no. I mean, that's... It's okay. Uh, in fact, it's good news, actually. Okay, then. Okay, bye. Hi, Mena. What are you doing here? Huh? I thought I told you to stay away from me and not speak to me again. Oh, relax, Mela. I'm here because I want us to settle things, you know, once and for all. And trust me, you'd love my proposal. And what is this proposal of yours? I want to sleep with you. What? Oh, don't be like that. I mean, you've been sleeping with um, Zara and Tracy, and with the way she's crazy about you, I'm sure you're hitting it hard. And I want a share of that. <laughs> Amanda, mm. you're a very pretty woman. But no, thank you. I am not interested. Well, I'm not asking. I will sleep with you, and that settles every scores we have. All right? We either do it my way, or you face the consequences. I you know the consequences is very daring. Right. So, how's it gonna be? My way, or your way? Fine. But not here. We have to go someplace safe. No, that's fine, lover boy. That's fine, my name. Your choice, okay? So, call me when you're ready. No one got you. I'm sure you love it, trust me. <laughs> Alright, take care. Good to see you. Good Same afternoon. Here. Good afternoon. How is everything? Fine. You're and good, right? What are you doing here? I came to pick something from the store and then I was like, is that Tracy or not? <laughs> you look good. <laughs> Thank you. And you look good. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I was just thinking to myself, should I? Should I not? Well, I was like, look, I'm not one to beat around the bush. Okay. But I'm going to ask you, Tracy. Just tell me, what exactly are you still doing with that guy, Mela? What exactly am I doing with Mela? Yeah. How do you mean? Tracy, I know Mela is my friend. But you see, I think uh, you are too decent to be going out with such a person. How would you feel if Mela hears about all this now? Look, to hell with Mela. Please, 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 to hell with him. Look, your so-called love. Huh? This Mela love of your life. Huh? Do you know that he's also dating your blood sister, Zara? Aha! Oh, 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 you see? You, you see? Look, look, it, it, look, I do not mean to pry into your personal life. I, I, it's because I care about you. That is why I'm telling you this. If you doubt me, Jesse, if you doubt me, go to Mela's office. Huh? Go to his office and your so-called lost sister's office. Go this night and see for yourself what is happening. Thank you. Wow. Ah, it's good to see you. Good Same afternoon. Here. Good afternoon. How is everything? Fine. You're and good, right? What are you doing here? I came to pick something from the store and then I was like, is that Tracy or not? <laughs> you look good. <laughs> Thank you. And you look good. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I was just thinking to myself, should I? Should I not? Well, I was like, look, I'm not one to beat around the bush. Okay. But I'm going to ask you, Tracy, just tell me, 
What exactly are you still doing with that guy, Mela? What exactly am I doing with Mela? Yeah. How do you mean? Tracy, I know Mela is my friend. But you see, I think uh, you are too decent to be going out with such a person. How would you feel if Mela hears about all this now? Look, to hell with Mela! Please, 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 to hell with him! Look, your so-called love, huh? this Mela love of your life, huh? do you know that he's also dating your blood sister, Zara? Aha! Oh, ho, ho, ho! You see? You, you see? Look, look, it, it, look, I do not mean to pry into your personal life. I, I, it's because I care about you. That is why I'm telling you this. If you doubt me, Jesse, if you doubt me, go to Mela's office. Huh? Go to his office and your so-called blood sister's office. Go this night and see for yourself what is happening. Okay, so I guess this is everything we have on this. That's right. Yeah. Since we're done with work, let's do some of our own work. Um, <clears throat> uh, Zara, <laughs> I'm not in the right frame of mind for this, okay? Really? Mela? Really? This is all I get after everything I've done for you? Like I said, I'm just... Come on, Mela. It's not the time. Come on. What about if the time is there? Huh? Besides, your dad returns to know that this might be the last time we find ourselves like this in the office. Exactly. The reason why... The reason why we shouldn't even be doing this in the first place. Uh, okay. I don't even know, I keep asking myself, how did she find out, how, what, what brought her to that office, you know, I, 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 and then she's right there. I don't know what to do, I, I really don't know what to do. Guy, please, please, will you help me talk to Tracy to please forgive me? Okay, so our client, um, Chief Douglas, has indicated interest in these three uh, properties in Parkview Estate. It goes for 100 million, and then in Greenwich Estate, it goes for 150, and then the um, Zara, Zara. Yeah. Are yeah. you with me? Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, okay. Uh, um. You know what? Let's do this later. Okay. Bye. Um, um, uh, let me just ask you a question. What are you going to do about your sister? Right. Guess I'll have to talk things over with her. How? Oh. I don't know. I don't know. Um, just take it easy, okay? Sorry about that.
and were able to complete the job without any problems. Okay. Nala here was quite diligent and hardworking. Nice. <laughs> He's learned really quickly on the job. We both gave our best to make sure it was completed timely. That's good. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Jamala! Jamala! Come back here! I'll give you more if you help me beg Tracy to forgive me. Okay, my man. Uh, get one small thing we won't follow you talk. Very small, very small. What is it? You know that fine boy, Mela. That guy is a correct guy. That guy really love you. You know, say that guy get my come our kaba where we me and for auntie boy for day. Come they beg us. He need down. They beg us. Tell us, make me follow him. Come beg you. Mama, you need to see the way this guy is crying like Pekin. Without telling us, don't worry, make me comport. He will go meet you, beg you. The guy is so good. The guy is confirmed. Oh, eh? no. Mama, I beg, just forgive him. Eh? We don't know what in the fuck up when go don't do, but just they follow beg you for our sake. Eh? Forgive him, Mama. Hmm? Mama, mama. Mama. Hey. I get it. Hey. I don't hear you. Oh, you boom. I don't hear you. Hey. Ah. Sashi, come. Mama, mama. Mama. No worry, no worry. We believe you. Everywhere good. Fine boy. You're the correct guy. No worry. Take control. Baby, please, you have to forgive me. I didn't know that Zara is your sister. 
Besides, she imposed herself on me. And I was afraid that she will ruin me when my dad comes back if I say no to her. Babe. Babe, please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. You're the only woman that matters to me in this whole universe. You're the only one that I love. Please. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. I'm sorry. Okay, I, I'm so sorry. Please. 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 Stop. I know that I hurt you, but I'm sorry. Okay. Forgive me. Please. Forgive me. I'm so, so sorry from the bottom of my heart. I'm sorry. Um, hey, the, the, the. <laughs> Is this what I'm thinking? Oh, interesting. Are you all right? Oh, yes, yes. I'm fine. I just need some rest, okay? Let me just hurry home and get some rest. Are you sure you're I'm fine? good. I'm good. Thank you for asking, okay? Lock up, okay? Have a good night. You're welcome. <laughs> wow. The eagle has finally landed. <laughs> yeah. Babe. Let's leave town now, okay? Uh, look, I have enough money for us to start afresh anywhere in this country. Okay, let's just let's let's disappear. Let's go away. I'm I'm very sure that I will secure a good job very soon, and then it will just be you and I. Okay, away from my dad, your sister. No one will ever disrupt our lives again. Yes, we can come back and see them when we get married. Okay? Babe, come on, please. Let's do it. I don't know what Well, you know what? Let's do it. Just go somewhere very far away from here. Yeah? Yes, let's do it. Okay. Um, okay, so, um, uh, you go get your things yeah. and I'll, I'll, I'll go to my house and get my stuff and then we'll do it, okay? okay. I'll see you soon. Okay. I'm pregnant. You're what? Mela, I'm pregnant and it's yours. You're... Mela, she's pregnant? <laughs> no! I can't do this again! I can't! I can't! Just let me! Zara, why are you doing? Why are you doing this? Doing what? Why are you doing? Why are you trying to ruin my life and your sister's life? Ruin your life? <laughs> are you all right? You think I like what's happening? You think I'm doing this on purpose? Zara, we both know that I am not responsible for your pregnancy. You and I know it. How dare you? 
How dare you deny this pregnancy, Mela? Mela, this pregnancy is yours. You put this baby inside of me. For what act like a man and stop toddling? You're no kid. If that baby is mine, then you have to terminate it. What? You must be mad. Over my dead body will I kill my baby, Mela. Over my dead body. Mela, what are you still doing here? Baby. Baby, what? Baby, baby what? No, baby, what? Huh? Mela, leave! Leave this minute! I don't want to see you, Mela. I don't, I don't, I don't want to see you. Mela, please! Please! Please leave! Don't be stupid! I'm in trouble. I'm in serious trouble. This this is not supposed to be happening to me. I mean, why is all this happening to me? Can I say something now? Can I help me out here now? Really? Mela, you think you don't repair this matter now? Which? What is making it happen again now, my guy? Oh, my guy. My life is completely screwed. Like, I'm a mess right now. I don't even know what to do. I don't know. I really thought we had settled everything, but this, this, this just... Why are you... Why you go to sleep with two sisters, only you? But your liver is tight! No, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Guys, you know say I... No, no, say I know. So, what do you want to do like this, eh? I just want to marry Tracy. That's all. The other one you give Bella uncle, what do you want to run that one now? I'm going to I'm going to have to accept the baby. And I'm going to talk to Tracy to accept the baby as well. Guys, I, I don't know. This kind of man. But, uh, yes, you, yes. See this matter, this matter go hard. See this one, it go hard. I don't even know how to take you mess up on the good side. I don't know. Obviously, obviously, we have come to the point where you have to make a decision. You just have to. You simply have to. You can't go on without making a decision. And uh, your sister, you're saying that you don't want to have anything to do with her. And uh, Mena, on the other hand, uh, he has secured a rocky future for you. And then there's the baby who, who deserves to grow up with a father. But you see, you have to put into consideration your future. 
Would you rather have such a rocky future for the rest of your life? See ya. Look, I cannot continue like this. I can't do this anymore. Dara, what Look, is if your... you don't want this baby. baby, if you don't want this baby, it's fine. I'll keep my child. Okay, I'll keep my baby. But what I will not continue to do is pay this pregnancy on your son. I will not do that. Dara, I'm what done is wrong with it. you? I'm done. Will you stop? Jamila, what is it? Please go away so I can have some private discussion with Zara. Jamila, I am talking to you. Will you give me some space? Jamila, are you trying to dare me? Will you? You do not try to raise your hand on me. What? For years, I have suffered your harsh treatment. I have done everything that you wanted me to do. I haven't had any opportunity to live a life of my own. I've lived in your shadows all my life, Dad. And yet, you still asked Zara to pin your pregnancy on me? Why? Dad, why? So, this was... This was your plan the whole time. To have me marry a woman that you've tested and approved for me? Listen. I am sorry. I'm sorry, so listen. I, I wanted you to be perfect. I didn't want you to make the same mistake I made in life. And, and so, I promised myself to conduct and doctor your life so you will not repeat the same mistake. That I made, but, but I guess I went too far this time around. I'm sorry, son. I'm sorry. Please. I can't even look at your face right now. You disgust me. Jamal, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. So we know if you do the small thing we ask us to do. But the truth be say, that way you no know, go solve of the problem between you and your sister. Hmm? Babe, no be like the talk. Check her out now. For blood sister. Okay. What if we come beat her? The belly come out, she die. What you go talk? Yes, no. So we need to find we settle your differences with your sister. I beg. Ah. T-boy, hmm? I will never allow Zara to ruin my life, okay? So don't worry. I'll take care of it. Everything is fine now, so don't worry. Mama. I did it my way, don't worry. Which way can't be that? Tracy, Tracy, you won't believe this. Oh my goodness, you will not believe this. What? Zara's pregnancy. What about Zara's pregnancy? My dad is responsible for Zara's pregnancy.
I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Truth is, I... I blame myself for everything. So I am... Um, I have decided to be a single mother. Mela loves you. He loves you very much. You can go ahead and marry him. He loves you very much regardless of what happened between us. You guys get married. Alice. I can live with that. Knowing I didn't take away your happiness. I can live with that. If you know you want to love me, or you want to do me a favor, why not terminate this pregnancy? Let me be with my man. Hmm? <laughs> no. Get out. I won't do that. Get out. Tracy. Quiet, be like say she not fit to fly. He get mind. Bob, wait, T boy. Eh? You go fit poison me. Bros, nah, not fit do that kind thing. Nah. T boy like me, nah, not fit na. Nah. Nah, me lawyer no, sabra. Do well, lo. I not fit do that. Nah. No fit. to do this. I've learned my mistakes. Okay. Listen to me, Chimala. Chimala, I wanted to kill myself when your mother died. Then I looked at you. 
and thought, how will Chimala survive alone? Chimala, I live for you. I may have hurt you and so many other persons in my struggles to live a life when I should have died with your mother. Chimala, but if you want to leave, so be it. You know, I prayed for her to be fine. And now that she's fine, I don't want to ever have anything to do with her. I just, I just want to stay very far away from her. Mm. Very, very far away from her. Well, I feel the same way too with my dad, but I don't know if I want to leave him like this. I poisoned my sister because of you, Mila. Because of you. I know. I know. Then let's just get away. Man, let's get away from here. Tracy, I love you. And I'll do anything that you want me to do right now. Okay? Let's leave here. Yeah? Very far away. Just you and I. Okay. <laughs> 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 okay. Let's yes. Do, let's do that then. Let's do this. Okay. <laughs> So take care of yourself, all right? I have to head back to the office. I just came to briefly see how you're doing. All right? Thank you so much. Thank you. And please take care of the office, okay? I will. For my return. Take care of the office. Thank you. And take care of yourself. I will. Bye. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.
want to leave. So be it. But remember that I don't have any other person to live for. If you leave me, my mind is made up, Dad. I'll call you to tell you where I'm staying. Jimala, don't do this. What? No, 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 So good, right? Mm -hmm. Friends, best served cold. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to that. Mm. What is she doing here? What are you doing here? Eh? And what was that stupid stunt all about? After all, I paid you. Uh, your father is to blame, not Amanda here, nor I. You, Jamal, you! Well, I is quite unfortunate that the sins of the father happens to be visited on the son. Because your father ruined my life for years! And that of Amanda turned her into a sex toy. And after impregnating her, what did he say? He asked her to get rid of the pregnancy. Oh yes, and after he was done with the main acts on her and all the, all the bad things he could have done to her, he moved on to my own Zara. Oh yes, my Zara. She was my girlfriend at that time. And I just proposed to her for crying out loud when she started work with your father. You know what your dad did? He warned me and threatened me with my life to stay away from my own fiancé. You know what I did? I backed down nursed my heartbreak and waited patiently for my revenge. It's unfortunate you're a collateral damage. Mela, everything you said is true. <laughs> Your father used me and dumped me. And he treated me like a piece of trash. Mela, no! Please, no! No! Don't do it. Calm down, okay? Mela, please. Just go back home to your father. We were never meant to be. I mean, I have learned my lessons, and I do hope you've learned yours too. So if you'd excuse me, I just, just want to spend time with my sister.
Leave. Each other that will never let any man come in between us. Fight no. for your love. <laughs> come in between us. I love you. <laughs> so much. I'm so no sorry. God, I missed <laughs> you. back in my life. That's the most important thing ever to me. Love must be. Looks like someone has taken an early break today. Hi. Good morning. You look convincingly busy. <laughs> and it's noon, by the way. Oh. I'm usually not like this. I don't sleep on duty. I hope not. Hi, and how may I be of help? Oh, I believe I'm scheduled for a meeting for 1.30. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What did you ask? Oh, you look worn out and it seems you've had a lot. Can you please not touch anything? Hmm. I assume you're the new depositor, but unfortunately the new manager is not around. We would have to reschedule this meeting. What's your name? I would drop him a text. Uluwa Deji, Managing Director, Risen Flores Corporation. Crap. I'm screwed, ain't I? Um. <laughs> then I'm Kemi, your, your new assistant. I was told you weren't coming in today. Yeah, yeah, I was. But I did come as a good, diligent, hardworking. You should take the rest of the day off. I think I, think I should. Thank you. I can give you a ride if you'd like. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Are you sure? You still look a bit tipsy. I'm fine. Thank you so much, sir. It's nice to meet you, Deji. Yes, ma'am. Nice to meet you, too. You're welcome. My daughter told me you relocated all the way from Abuja. Yes, I did, ma'am. A couple of weeks ago now. Oh, that's great. So, how's the family over there? Hmm. I mean, your wife and kids. Mommy, did you not marry, though? Eh? No. Are you married? No, I'm not, ma'am. Not married. So when are you looking to get settled? Anytime soon? Can you please stop asking questions like this? At least you have something different, like more creative questions. Get me. Let me talk to the young man. Uh, well, I'm actually looking to settle down soon. You know, have a family, wife, three to four children. You're going to name my first daughter, Anika. Anike Bao. Why Anike? <laughs> That's my mom's name. Mm. Yeah. Oh. That's good. Your mom is really interesting. Oh, yeah, she is. So sorry she was asking only your questions. That makes sense. That's nice, fine. I don't mind answering questions. It's been a while since I had like a family dinner, so it's actually nice. You made mention of your mom earlier, but then you really didn't talk much about it. You really didn't say much. The thing is, I'm an orphan. Oh, both parents. 
Nice, nice. Nice, it's fine. Never really knew them, so it's hard to imagine what they were like. I don't even know how to miss them, if that makes any sense. Just like them. How about you? I bet you miss your dad. My dad. Yeah. Yes, I am. I really miss my dad. Yes, to be honest, I I miss him a lot. I think about him every day. All I have left is some of his pictures and Sometimes I I wonder what he would think about me if I've been a good daughter. If I have any of his strength, you know. I don't know. Yeah. I really miss him. I know how you feel. You know how I feel? Yeah, I do. Yeah. For the very first time, I felt a strong connection with a man like never before. I knew I had begun building something with DJ. Something deep, something strong, something that should never fall apart. From then, I and DJ became really closer. We talk on the phone all night, at work. No, I love you too much. If you marry me now. Hey, okay. I would advise you put that back into your pocket. Where did you talk? You heard me right. I wasn't speaking Spanish. See this relationship, right? I know if you do again. I don't want to. So after all Ken did for you, this is how you want to repay him. And please, if there's anything I can't remember, do me well to tell me. Don't fall in love with me. I am in love with Tenny, your friend. Why are you with Tara anyway? Ah, that's all I can do for Yusuf. Tell you what happened to Yusuf. Yusuf left me the way down and left you. Yes, you've spent some years with her, but I guess you do not know a lot of things about her. That girl is dirty. I pity the man that will end up with him. She is so hot to Ah, don't walk again. So, bah, ah. by the time when she come back, she, 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 she don't go meet me. Ah, 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 go down, go, ah, never ready to die. Nobody will kill you if only you obey simple instructions. This is unbelievable. Apparently, Tenny and Ken are now dating. What? I am going to tell Tenny everything that happened between us. Alex broke up with me. It just ended doing things like that. Just like Kevin, Fonsha. And what was that other boy's name? It doesn't matter. It matters. Life to me has had its ups and downs. Mostly down when it comes to dating. I've been in some toxic relationships that ended over things. I don't think I can be the guy for you anymore. I promise you we can fix this. Yeah. I'm just feeling the tough relationships are just not meant for me. I don't want to stay away from anything that would run me crazy. Yeah, you should. Focus on yourself for now and just take some time away from dating. Bitch, I might be better. Turn up the music. Where are you going? I am going to work. I thought about what you said. I'm just going to put everything behind me and move on with my life. Tumila! You look convincingly busy. Are you okay? Seems you had a lot. Can you please not touch anything? What's your name? I will just drop him a text. Uluwa Deji, managing director, Raising Place Corporation. Mom, Kemi, your your new assistant. I've seen you bend all your rules for this, your boss. Just make sure this is not another roller coaster ride. It's not until I get all the sons of Adam to try and find a serious relationship. Do you know where X is shot in from? Experience. I need to know what went wrong in those bad relationships so I can do better. <laughs> you know what? 
you really have to be always spontaneous. It's sexy. The bold, you know, laugh more. I mean, if you are a guy, you want to have a woman that can hold conversation, fun, inspiring, entertaining conversation for as long as it lasts. There have been too many people lately. I don't even know which version of myself to be anymore. You are here to show me anything convincing. Are you said kind? Uh, Be much a good Oh. Why they treat me like this now? Oh, Go inside. To where? You are innocent. Take it to the grave. Oh, no. Get up and go to work, brother. Okay. You guys should have a nice time. <laughs>